Yo guys, welcome back to a new PC show video. Today, guys, we're going to take a look at a Charizard Roaring Resolve deck here. The team up Charizard once again. Now, I had plans to upload a video on this deck on Champion's Path Day 1. So, I thought I was going to be busy. So, I pre-recorded a video on this deck before. It was a pretty good video. If you want to go watch it, I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but my plans ended up getting canceled. So, I had time to make Champion's Path content. So, I just used this video as a Patreon video. Um, so, if you guys want to watch this deck again, you can check out my Patreon. It's $2 a month to get access to all the exclusive content I posted over there. But this is the deck I'm playing. Um, I'm using a lot of stuff. I've, I got, you know, got Heat Ram. We can use, you know, Hot Burn with Roaring Resolve and our, our ability with Roaring Resolve. We got Victini. I am playing a Flareon in here too with uh, Power Burner, which is pretty good. I've um, got Dedenne, Eldegoss, um, 13 Fire. I'm also playing Marnie and Fire Crystal. This is how we're going to get energy back. One of the things Charizard did kind of lose was, you know, Energy Recycler, which can put five energy back in your deck. But we can do Fire Crystal and then Marnie, which puts three energy in our hand. And then we Marnie the energy into the deck. So that's kind of the whole logic behind this combo. Other than that, this is the list I'm playing here. The deck actually plays pretty well. Not going to lie. Anyways, before we get the video, guys, question to our sponsor, Kevin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, get them over at Car Kevin TCG. Card Cavern and selling codes for the cheapest on the market. So, yes, if you guys are still looking for Champions Path codes, Dark the Blaze codes, Sword and Shield or Rebel Clash codes or any other set code. Get them over at Car Cavern. Car Cavern is also selling promo codes like V codes, GX codes, um, pre release kit codes all over there. If you get any codes from Car Cavern, you can use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your purchase. It greatly helps the channel out, helps yourself out, and helps out Car Cavern. So yeah, shout out to Car Cavern, guys. Check them out and make sure you use code LDF at the checkout. You can also check out the articles I've posted over there too. If you guys want to go give them a read, I just posted a new one talking about the Pikachu and Zekrom deck that has been dominating tournaments recently. Um, so let's take a look at the deck here. So this list I'm playing, nothing changed from my Patreon video. Um, yeah, it's, it is a Welder Rare Candy Stage 2 deck, which is always awkward. Welder doesn't really go well with Rare Candy Stage 2s, but I am playing Oracorio to help us out a little bit. You get Charizard down, of course, use Continuous Blaze Ball. Uh, with its ability, with Welder, you actually can put a lot of energy on this thing. Um, so it can actually one-shot tag teams. You go two energy with your ability, which is already 130 damage. You attach an energy for turn. That's 180. And then you play a Welder for two more energy. You can kind of see how the numbers kind of rack up. So you can do like 280 damage out of nowhere. Um, or if you get a turn where you can just slowly build this thing up and it doesn't get bossed up or anything, you get two turns of building this thing up. That means it can take out K or V maxes even. So pretty cool there. Um, and again, I am playing some fire supporters. Of course, I am playing Heat Ran. Burning Road combines really well with Roaring Resolve. If you have like two Charizards, you can do like double Roaring Resolve and then like into a Burning Road, which can take you a knockout. I got one Victini in here, of course, Freddy Flames. I got a Flareon GX. Very good in here for Power Burner. Um, I use Power Burner a lot in this uh, deck, even in my Patreon video. I'm not going to say if I used it in the video or not, um, but Power Burner is here. Single energy, just 20 damage, each fire in your discard. It can be a nice way to, like, clean up. Like, you can boss up a Dedenne or something and knock it out pretty simply, because you'll most likely have 8 energy in the discard. You can also use Bright Flame for 190 damage to take a big knock. Out. And let's have the Eldegoss, Mew, and Choreo. I will say, I probably want to maybe play a second Dedenne or a Crobat. Other than that, this list seems fine to me. Now, I'm also playing EVGX. Uh, it's here for Joymaker. If we have that option, Joymaker, we can do that. We can also Welder and then, like, boost Dash. That's why I'm playing this Eevee. Instead of, like, a normal Eevee, I'm just playing the Eevee GX. Plus, this artwork is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> of course, we got our items. I already went over the Crystals. Got the Rod. Got the Calm. Got the Quick Balls. There is no Evil Wind Sense. Another card you could definitely put in here. Got four Candies. Three Switch. Um, just to switch. Got three Hearth. Very important in this deck. Two Boss. Three Marnie. Four Welder. Again, the Marnie is kind of here for the Fire Crystal uh, Energy Retrieval combo. And they got 13 fire energy, which might be enough. I, I think 13 was a pretty good amount. I never really wanted to play more or less. I thought 13 was like literally perfect on the dot. Um, but yeah, this is my Charizard deck. I like it quite a bit. Um, it's the second time I've been playing this deck for a video. If you guys want to go see the original video on this deck on my Patreon, you guys can check it out. If you're already pledged my Patreon, you've already seen it. You're a legend. Um, but yeah, if uh, you guys want to check out my Patreon, it's two dollars a month for exclusive content. It's another way to support the channel and you get access to some other cool content if you want. So if you want to see more games deck, check out my Patreon. Anyways, let's uh, get straight into some new matches. All right, guys, let's try out the Charizard deck here. I'm pretty excited to play it. I did play this in my Patreon video that I ended up posting because I was going to post this video on day one of Champions Path on PCGO. So I honestly didn't think I was going to be home that day. I'm going to go first playing stage two deck. I didn't think I'd be home that day. So I didn't think I'd actually be able to make uh, day one Champions Path videos. But I was able to because my plans got canceled. So I used that Charizard video I pre-recorded for my Patreon. And the deck played pretty well in the video. So hopefully we can continue to play well. Ooh, we got a turn two Charizard here. That is really good. I'm just going to pass. 
and hope we don't get donked and hope we uh, don't get marnied but i don't think they will they're playing it probably a salazzle firebox deck possibly it's gonna be a war of the fireboxes which i can i'm down for uh we can actually do a lot of damage next turn we're doing um 240 so if my opponent benches like a senna scorch v or something we can boss and knock it out with charizard so that's gonna be what we're gonna do there we'll see what my opponent's playing though can't just be a Salazzle deck. It's got to be something else. And hopefully Char Charmander lives here. No, they're playing a Baby Blounds deck. That's going to be a little interesting to try to beat. That is going to be interesting. Uh-oh, they have a Welder too. That's not good. Hopefully only one energy, two energy. Well, I mean, they need, they need a pretty good hand if they want to knock me out here. So I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll be living. Unless they have a Dedenne or a Crobat. That can probably get them a knockout. No, they're just going to hit me... Saland it. We'll see if we can keep up. I mean, their hand is empty right now, which is definitely a huge bonus. They're in top deck mode pretty much, so... There's one thing we have going for us. Is that they are in top deck mode. If we don't draw a Pokemon, though, I think we just lose. Oh, you're in a boss of the clown, I guess. Okay, we drew a Mew. Perfect. So we'll go Rare Candy Charizard. We will attach. We'll calm. Hopefully we have something in the deck we can play. I'm pretty sure we got a Dedenne. Yeah, we have a Dedenne. We're going to also boss up the Blown. I guess Marnie's going to be good here too, but they have Salazzle. But like we already need the Marnie anyways. Okay, another Charmander. Victini, we'll bench that too. We could play the Giant Hearth. I think I'm just going to hold off and just go for the Knockout here. All right, this is good. This will put us in a bit of a lead for the time being. Hopefully Charizard lives. There's a Marnie, so we have a Marnie for potentially next turn. But we don't need to do it next turn. We can wait. We can wait. Um, but we have an option. We can attack with Victini. We can attack with, you know, we, we'll build a Victini with Welder because we're not guaranteed to get much. Ooh, they have an Oracorio, which is actually good. If we can get Boss back at some point, we can knock out that Oracorio by going Roy and Resolve Attach. Maybe this turn, Quick Ball Top Deck? You say it ain't so. Okay, we'll ditch the uh, Flareon, I think, for the Eldegoss. I kind of feel bad, not going to lie. I mean, knocking out the uh, Saland, it's not like the worst thing either, in all honesty. Um, they are kind of a threat, and to be honest, they are kind of a threat. The Salazzles are pretty annoying. They do let my opponent replenish, you know, energy and give them a bigger hand. But I think knocking out the Zoracorio here is too uh, good to pass up, right? It's a big threat, right? Now, this feels good. We got the turn two Charizard. We're, yeah, they just concede. I mean, it was just pretty straightforward. And they knocked out the Charizard. We have the Victini, and then hopefully by there, we could have gotten another Charizard down. All right, guys, getting into another match. We'll go for heads on the coin flip here. We do win it. All right, nice. Uh, we'll go first again. We are playing a stage two deck, so going first is still logical. Let's we'll see what we start with here. Another Charmander start. Not a very good hand, though. We have no other basics. We do have a Welder, though, that can maybe guarantee us something. I don't know. We'll see what we're playing against here. Could be could be a Pika deck. No, it's a Frostmoth deck. All right, we do a Quick Ball. That can get us Dedenne for next turn. Um... Charmander is weak to water here. I don't think there's any water Pokemon that could knock me out other than... I guess they could go, like, Inteleon. Maybe we should just Quick Ball for Dedenne in case of an Inteleon. Yeah, you know what? We're going to Dedenne here. Just in case. They're playing... They're mostly playing Inteleon, and that can knock out Charmander to one hit. So, probably want to Dedenne change and try to get a better hand. We got Oracorio, which is something. I'll just pass. We have an Oracorio that can maybe help us out, but... The rest of our hand is not very usable. Honestly, I probably would have preferred keeping this hand. I don't know. At least we have the Oracorio to help us out. Oh, so they're playing a Lapras deck. All right, I can bite. We can try to be La- Actually, Victini is really good here. Well, I guess they don't need that much energy on them anyways, but... In a theory, theoretically, they ever put a lot of energy on Lapras for whatever reason. Victini V is going to be decent. Maybe we can two-shot them, though, so it's not that bad. Okay, they're going to Marnie me. I should have played the uh, Oracorio down... But, uh, it is what it is. We'll see if we can get a good hand here. Well, we got the Charizard. That's good. We have a Welder, so we can probably get in play if we're lucky. Um, well, I mean, we kind of need to get in play, right? It's kind of awkward to Welder all the energy to one Charmander. I'm just going to put one on. All right, come on here. Give me a rare candy. Yo, we got it. We also got the Charmander. Actually, we maybe should have saved that for Corio. Anyways, we got the Charizard. The nice thing about this is my opponent cannot knock me out next turn, so this is really good. And we have another, we have a boss in hand, so, I mean, we're one energy short of being able to knock this out, unless we, no, there's nothing I can think of. Okay, we got a, we got a no Torah Choreo. There's no way I can knock out this Lapras, right? 
We can't do continuous. Yeah, continuous wave won't do enough damage. We'll see if they have another Pokemon, though. I don't want them to have another Marnie because I do want to boss this up. We could, oh, we could knock out the Crobat, actually. I think we just want to bring in the Lapras, though, and just try to knock it out. That seems pretty fine. No, a Marnie, dude. Quit Marnie me, dude. Quit Marnie me. Oh, the cheese. How many Marnies? That two so far? So we got to deal with two more, probably. Oh, we still got boss. All right, we got Charmeleon. The only problem is we don't have a draw card in our hand. So we're still kind of screwed. Oh, why would they bring in Crobat? Interesting. Okay, we drew a Welder. Okay, that's at least good. We can play that next turn. Um, I think we just bring in the Lapras here and hit it. Try to set it up to be KO'd. I don't know. Knocking out this Crobat is pretty dang tempting. I'm not going to lie to you there. It is kind of tempting to KO this Crobat. But I think logically speaking, we want to just bring in this Lapras and try to get damage on it. We'll see what happens here. Hopefully we can knock it out. Actually, they have 30 HP, so if they don't have a VMAX, we can knock it out with Mew next turn, which is decent. Yeah, so next turn we have to go Welder. We got to find Oricorio. Uh, we might want to get Ornayrod to get Flareon back. Might be pretty good, too. Well, they did put a fourth energy on. There's actually... Did they not get the VMAX here? Okay, Dede change. They gave it another Marnie. I mean, I would have preferred them to Marnie me there because we probably would have gotten a better hand than what we had right now, but at least we have a Welder to work with, which hopefully can get us into something. All right, we'll see what they're doing here. Ooh, they're going to boss? They're going to knock out my Dedene. I don't agree with that. Um, I do not agree with that at all, but I will take it. All right, so bring in the Mew. We can knock him out Psy Power, which is pretty epic. I don't think they play Inteleon. Um, we can get a lot of energy in play, but to be fair, they probably have another boss. So you, I could load up a Charizard with energy on it, but like the chance they have another boss is really high. So it's going to Welder the active. Yeah. There's EV. We'll bench it. We'll attach. I guess we could have attached Welder to the Charizard. Maybe that would have been better. Um... I'm going to play Roaring Resolve 2 to thin out the deck a little bit. Like, bait them to have a boss, right? We want to thin out as much as we can, too, because our hand is kind of dead right now. We are taking a couple prizes, though. I don't know. Maybe we should have Welder to the Zard and then attached to Mew. I don't want to put too much energy on Charizard, though, and have it get knocked out by a boss. I don't really want to risk it. No, another Welder's good. Perfect. So if we don't get Marnie or Stamped here, we have a pretty good hand. We could probably go Oracorio Welder. That should find us another Charizard. I do want to get Ornay Rod too. I want to get that Flareon back to use that GX Tech. The GX Tech we can use with like Eldegoss and we can like Power Burn or knock out Dedene or Crobat or something. We'll see if we can uh, do anything here. I'm excited if we have another boss in hand. I mean, unless by some miracle they don't have a VMAX here and three energy. I mean, it is bot. They have a training court in play. That is also a thing. We'll see what they do. I'm hoping they just knock out Mew, right? We want them to just knock. If they knock out Mew, we actually just knock out the VMAX in one hit with continuous plays ball they need i mean the chances they have the boss here are very high in my opinion like they have to have it bro there's no way they didn't have a boss with that massive massive hand if they just juniper or research we're big chilling what they actually play inteleon okay nice they don't have the boss that actually means we are going to be able to blow them up here i can't believe they actually play inteleon though that might be a problem maybe not okay if they just talk about lapras we just win Yo, let's go. All right, no Pokemon catcher one time. No catchers. No catchers in sight. Let's see it. Let's go. And that will be game. Okay, well, I didn't spend on the Inteleon. If they knocked on the Inteleon, it would make things a little more awkward. Uh, we're just going to break. I'm pretty sure we're doing 320 damage. We're putting seven energy on this thing. Hopefully, we have energy in the deck. We should. I think we have two energy in the deck. We have three, even better. Yeah, we're just doing a ridiculous amount of damage here. We also have Oracorio to work with. Welder. Can we get another Charizard here? We do. All right. Here we go. Bye-bye. Okay, that way oh, we had a knock, bro. I don't even need to try, bro. We just had it, bro. Just 430 damage with the Charizard on Lapras VMAX. We beat a water deck. Oh, we had actually a pretty bad prize. This Charizard, Rare Candy, and Charmander. But that's the power of this deck. It is... Told you this deck actually still kind of works. All right, guys. Get another match. We've won the Queef again. And this guy has a Charizard coin, which is hilarious. Now, I think he's playing an Eternatus deck, judging from the deck box. Um, I can't remember if I played against Eternatus in my video for Patreon. I can't even remember what decks I even played against, to be honest with you. That's the sad thing. 
Um, our start's actually not too bad. Assuming we can find a Charizard, we should be okay. Oh, there we go. you shall receive. Um, if we're playing it's a turn to sow, I am a little shook, if not going to lie. I'm gonna get another Charmander down, I think. All right, maybe you could say that for Dedenne, but I think I'm okay. It's gonna pass. Don't want them to hit me with a... Uh, actually, we should have maybe kept the boss. Yeah, we should have actually kept... I didn't want to get rid of the Heat Ran, though. Honestly, I should have kept the boss in case they mentioned Eternatus. Which they are not playing. They are playing... Rushy Rom. Okay, then. Yeah, hopefully they don't Marnie me here. Okay, no Marnie. All right, nice. Okay, then. Now, I have a few options here. I can do the Bench Charizard. And I can go Heat Ran. I think we just knock him out with the active. We'll see what the we'll see if we can get anything here with a welder. I'm hoping we can find energy out one time. Okay, well. That's not bad, I guess. We'll bench it now. I guess we'll take out the active. I mean, to be fair, he can't knock me out right away. He could cross break. Ooh. Didn't really consider that. I actually could cross break my poor Orcorio here, which would be uh, pretty awkward. Yeah, I should have held the boss. I would have liked to have bossed up this thing. Should have gotten rid of the heat rain there. That's my bad. I don't know, maybe Heat Rain's important. Okay, there's a Crystal, so we can do Welder next turn. They could cross-break me here, potentially, if they have, like, a weird E-Switch combo or something. They could do something like that. They could, like, Energy Switch, End Resolve, cross-break me out of nowhere, knock out my poor Oracorio, which would probably screw me over. Uh, they have to do quite a bit if they want to knock me out here. They probably do have a knockout, though, right? They only need two energy. Yeah, there's a Welder. So that will knock me out. We can't knock them out in return, unless we're, like, insane. Okay, there's a Mewtwo putting the Welder on top. That's fine. We'll see what they decide to do here. Fable Flare Bolts. Yep. Yeah. How much is that doing? It's 180. So we could actually bring in Heat Ran here, potentially, and have Heat Ran survive a turn. We still have to worry about Cross Breaks. So we have to find Mew. That's something for a lot. We'll see what we can do. If we can get another Charizard down, though, that'd be great. Let's we'll see what we draw. I might just Welder to the Heat Ran, to be honest. Flareon. Okay, we'll fire well, Oracorio first. We do get Victini, which... Actually, I think I'm going to go Victini here. Yeah, let's go attack with Victini. Hopefully, we can rip... I should have played the Hearth. I don't want to give him a free Hearth, though. That just seems bad. Uh, ew, no Rare Candy Charizard. No supporter to follow up with either. Big yikes. We can hit them with Energy Burst. And they can't knock me out of one hit. They have to go three Energy to do that. They have 120 HP, so if we can just top deck a Rare Candy next turn with the Oracorio play, we can knock out this uh, Rushy Rama Charizard. This might be a bit close. The fact they have Cross Break kind of scares me a little bit, in all honesty. Oof, they have an Energy Retrieval. That's not good. Not that it matters too much, though. They can't knock me out unless they have a third Energy here. Oh, never mind. They have the Knockout. Okay, right? Yep. No, there's no Light in the Discard. Never mind. We don't have to worry about that. We'll see if Victini lives. It's nice we have 190 HP. Only one Energy... All right, wait, how, wait, what, why were they, they, I swear they got two energy back, what was the point of that? All right, well, it looks like our boy Victini is surviving, unless they miraculously have a quick ball energy in their hand, which they could have. But if Victini lives here, we knock him out, I mean, that's like, almost GG's, I would want to say, because at that point, it's not looking good for my opponent. I am scared of a cross break, though, on my Oracorio, to be honest. Just because it can get knocked out by 170. We need to find Mew, Mew's going to be huge. It's only on the bench, right? 170 damage, 20 bench, yeah. So it's only on the bench. So they can't knock out my active with cross break, it's only on the bench. Definitely want to find a Mew soon, then. I mean... Yeah, I don't know why they didn't... Welder for the two energy? Okay, Deadly Change. But they get no light in the discard. They just discard a bunch of supporters. That is pretty good. Boss, ends Resolve, Research. Good stuff. And no Winter Lightning got discarded there, so they can't even use Coco's ability. Is there something I'm missing here? They could still find a Quick Ball and an energy to discard. That is still very much a thing. Okay, we are just miraculously surviving, I think, right? Yeah, they can't discard on the active. Wow. I don't even feel bad, but I did. I kind of do. Ooh, we got an Eldegoss. I mean, as much as I don't want to give him the Giant Hearth, I think we got to just to be able... To, I mean, we need to get energy in play, so we have to play the Giant Hearth, I feel like. But what we can do here is we can Welder to the Charmander. And if we can find a Rare Candy here, we can get a Charizard and just one-shot this. Okay, that was a pipe dream. Uh, I guess we can go to Dene. I don't really want to do that, though. I think I'm just going to go with the energy burst. Could get Actually, we could get EVGX here. 
I don't mind that. We could go Eevee, but what they end is resolve a bunch of energy on one Reshiram and then just cross break. Knock them both out. That'd be kind of bad. I don't know. Do we want to just dead a change? I kind of feel like we might just... I feel like dead a changing. We'll see. Actually, we'll just wait a turn to see what Oracorio and our prize gets us. Yeah, we'll hold the hand. I guess we shop. We probably could have used Orny Rob, though, to get the Charizards back, I guess. All right, let's see what we get. Calm. All right. Not, not good. Not good either. Need to find a rare candy. I mean, we can win with, like, Hot Burn, probably. We can win with, like, Continuous Blaze Ball with five energy. So, let's get a big charm on. The only way I can see them winning this is if they, like, end Resolve here, knock out Charmander and Norcorio. That would be really bad. But then I can maybe just Hot Burn knock them out. But, no. Oh, they're gonna Marty me. All right, there goes my head. I definitely should have Ordinary Rotted the Charizards back, but that's fine. We're not really... The only thing I'm losing is, like, the, the Spall Searching cards, I would say. Like, those are the only, like, relevant, relevant cards. Ooh. Not a good hand. We did find Mew, finally, though, for our Charmander, which is good. Can they even move their Mewtwo? Can they move the Mewtwo? They play two scoop up nets or something. At the Crobat. Okay, they found the Mewtwo. But they can't even knock they can't even attack me. There's no energy on the bench. I don't even know what's gonna happen. I think I I mean at the, at this point, this is probably just yeah, it's about over. Yeah, there's a welder. Put on top of the deck. Just a pass. Alright, let's see we draw. Charmeleon, we'll play that. Spread the energy a little bit. I am going to bench this in case of an end resolve. And I'm just going to energy burst for 120 damage. We can just win next turn with a hot burn. But yeah, that's why just having these backup fire options is good. Obviously, you could also try Incineroar over Victini. Incineroar V could be okay, but Incineroar V is not as good as Victini's energy burst attack. I don't know. I thought Incineroar V was going to be good at first, but Victini V is proven to just be a way better card. Like, just I found more use out of Victini than Incineroar when I'm trying it. So let's see what happens here. I get back boss and welder. Probably gonna hit me here with a knockout. And then we just win with hot burn. Or we can just try to aura Corio into the Charizard. But we only have two in the deck. I'm just gonna go for the hot burn. And just knock them out. They got 150 HP. Three energy will be 150 damage on the dot. Now we'll be game against my opponent's Rush deck. I mean, I thought this game was gonna be pretty winnable as long as we just the deck played well. This should not have been a hard matchup at all, and it turns out it really wasn't. It's gonna take a knockout here, and we're gonna take the dub. We prize day welder and a Marnie. Let's see what our present is. Two tourney tickets. You love to not see it. All right, guys, getting into another match. Again, we've won the coin flip. We are winning coin flips all around. It looks like we're playing against a Mewtwo deck. Um, okay, here's. Ooh, we had the turn two Charizard technically. It's not looking great though. Let's see what we're playing against. Ooh, an Alchemy deck. Okay then. I'm just gonna attach. I. Mm, I kind of want to bench Charmander because it does give us, um, I just don't, I'm not going to get Dawn. I do want to bench this, but if I don't, I'm not going to bench it. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to gamble and we don't get marnie and then I'm going to be able to Rare Candy Charizard Dedene in the same turn. Knock out this Alchemy V. And pray we don't get marnie That's pretty much that. Um, and we get marnie <laughs> Just, I love it. I love my, Marnie has been really annoying in this video. I'm telling you that right now. Marnie, Marnie, Marnie. Marnie, Marnie, Marnie. Hopefully we can get a thing here off this welder. We have Charmeleon, though. I mean, honestly, I'm not... Like, I actually... Mm, well, I guess we'll, we'll get rid of the crystal. We'll do the welder first. Um, we could get rid of King Charizard. I would like to knock them out. It's not... But the fact that they're probably not going to knock me out without Creamy V in return, that actually not, isn't too bad. Ooh, we didn't get much. Can dead a change. We can evolve, switch. Yeah, let's do this. We'll evolve... Attach. Uh, we'll switch. And we'll Ember for 30. And then next turn, we'll do Dead HH. Here's my plan. Um, we can put this El Creamy VMAX from 310 to 280 HP. Which means we don't need as much energy to knock it out. That seems fine. We don't have to get a switch and stuff. But we can probably get there. As long as we don't have to Dene Prize, we're okay. That's, that's my game plan. The Marnie is a little annoying. Marnie has been uh, pretty pretty bad this whole video I've been finding. Ooh, they don't get the VMAX, though. That's pretty good. All right, that means we get Aura Corio this turn. Let's see who we draw. Fire. All right, cool. So we'll go here. Dead A, please don't be prized. Surprised. Uh, 
All right, we have to do War of Choreo. That feels really bad. Da -dene, da -dene, da -dene. Okay, we got the Charizard. All right, that was close. We'll take a knockout here. We, mm, so Volley can't knock me on return, right? We have 130, they do 120. All right, we're chilling. Let's say play Vitality Band. Let's see what our prizes are here. There's the Dene. All right, and there's an Ornery Rod too, so we can get back some stuff. All right, that's pretty good. My boy Oracorio came in clutch. My other option was going to be go try to Eldegoss for Welder too. If I didn't get the Charizard, I would have. I think I would have been able to do Eldegoss for Welder um, and try to like get a bigger hand that way. So we would have been able to draw six cards. But yeah, if they got the Alchemy VMAX in play, we were doing 280 there too. So we were able to knock out the Alchemy VMAX, which obviously I would have preferred. But we can probably knock out the Sovali next turn too, if we can get a Welder. So there's a Dedene change, getting rid of a Rose. A Dedene change, a Dede change. Interesting enough, in recording this video, I haven't ran into a single Zacian deck. Another Marnie. Kind of sad that's happening. This was a pretty good hand. We could have, like, Quick Ball for Charmander. Yeah, it is what it is. We still have, like, we have our comms and stuff. It's okay, I guess. Okay, we got a Marnie in return. We have a boss we could play two, potentially, on a benched Alchemy. I don't mind that. If they bench an Alchemy here, I might actually just knock it out with, with Continuous Blaze Ball. So I don't think they're going to be down with Sylvali here. Yeah, we're not going to be down with Sylvali, but it looks like they just don't have anything. Victini, we'll bench that. We will Roy and Resolve. I think we're just going to go with a Marnie here. We could boss up the Dedenny, I guess. It's not terrible. Because we're not knocking this thing out. But we're going to get knocked out next turn. I think we just hit this thing. We have to get another Pokemon. So it's Marnie. We also need to get a way to... Oh, to get a Vic... We have to get a Welder for Victini. There's Ordinary Rod. We could play that now. Eh, we'll wait a turn to play it. We got the Welder, which is good. Hopefully we don't get Marnied again. So let's just hit them for 180 damage. Knock him out with Victini. We can also knock them out with Mew if we have that opportunity available next turn. Yeah, hopefully we don't get Marnied here because this is a pretty good hand. We got the Ornay Rod. We got the Welder. All that good stuff. They are, I think, are two for two on the tails. Another Evo Incense. I mean, we're not going to the Sylvalia. All we got to do is knock out one more thing like Dedenne. We don't even have to worry about El Creamy VMAX at this point. But if we were, we had the option of just slaying a Charizard. Just put a ton of energy on it. And just go from there. But uh, I think we're chilling. Uh, we might have this game in the bag. I don't... S I mean, as long as we knock out this Ovali here, we should be good. I don't think they'll be able to go in with anything else. Right? There's a Bird Keeper. Oh. I guess that had to be their supporter for turn. Which also means we're not going to get Marty, Which means we actually get to keep this good hand. Which you love to see. Did they not get a switching card, though? If they didn't get a switch here, we can knock out the active Sovali. Okay, they do have a switch. I was gonna say, where's the switch at, though? I mean, I I think it's a little too late though. Alchemy V Max needing to do 240 damage. Victini is also pretty good too. Okay, they are th three for three on the tails on the Turbo Patch. You love to see it. I don't. I'd rather them get heads on uh, Crushing Hammer than Turbo Patch because we have a lot of ways to get energy back. So and plus, we have Flareon in the deck, so it's like I don't care about the Crushing Hammers too much. I'd rather them get tails and Turbo Patch, so it's actually working out pretty well in our favor here, I guess. Um. So yeah. We have eight energy in the discard, so that's pretty interesting. Let's try to get Eevee in play. All right, there we go. So let's go Ornay Rod. We'll do both, obviously. Get Charmander and Charizard. We haven't played a rare candy yet. I'm going to Giant Hearth away the Switch. don't think I care for that right now. The Welder to the active. Hopefully we can get a Pokemon to calm for Charmander. All right, perfect. Still have Oracorio to work with too, which is pretty good. We'll attach. Corio. There's Rare Candy. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna Quick Ball away one energy here for an Eevee. We have Flareon. We could have maybe saved that for Dene. We still have an Oracorio. It's not that bad. We should be okay. We still have Comfort to Dene if worse comes to worse. Plus, we're getting two prizes. So I don't. Yeah, this is fine. And I want to use Flareon too in this video. There's a Heat Ran. There's a Giant Hearth. All good stuff. The Giant Hearth could be useful if they play Rose Tower. All right. The only way they can not get Victini here is they have to Rose with Alchemy VMAX and they have to get Turbo Patch Heads, which they do not get. So they'd have to Rose attach Turbo Patch Heads to knock out Victini here for 240, but that ain't gonna happen. So we're ch they've literally got four tails on Turbo Patch. <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> oh, that is, wait, is that only three Turbo Patch? No, it's four, yeah, the Rainbow, the Secret Rare. Oh my gosh. Is that, I'm pretty sure that was four tails. I can't imagine they got it i don't I think they got another heads that that is some bad luck I, I feel bad for you my dude i feel bad 
I know how it feels to get tails on coin flips like that. There's a VMAX. So I guess we can't watch out the VMAX right away. I don't think we do enough damage to Charizard. Well, maybe we can. I don't know if we have enough energy in the deck, though, to make it work. We'll see. Okay, they got the Rose. Again, we have 190 HP. They're only going to do 180 damage. They can't even one-shot me here. It's a nice thing about the Victini. This thing can take a hit from Alchemy. Let's see if they have the uh, Knockout. I don't think they do. They have a Crushing Hammer. That's annoying. They do get heads. Probably on the Charmander, right? Yeah, that's fine. That's uh, 160 damage with Eevee. We still have our boss. We actually could just win here by going like boss up the Dene with Flareon or something, I guess. We have a lot of options. We're not getting knocked out this turn since they have no way to... I guess they could have like played Surge Double Rose, but I don't think they play that option. That would have been, I guess, one way to deal with me. Do they have a reset stamp, maybe? That could be pretty annoying. If they have like a stamp here, they could like... They could put me in a bad spot, I guess, with a reset stamp. Another Crushing Hammer. Yeah, see, they're getting the heads and the hammers about the turbo patches, which I would probably prefer. How much energy is that now? Nine energy in the discard, so we're doing 180, so we can knock out Crobat. They just adornment. Okay, then. Let's go here. We did get rid of that switch. We only have one left. Roaring Resolve. Oh, one energy. Yikes. This is where we need the Crystal Marnie combo. We could just do Spreading Flames here, I guess. We're definitely going to net a change here for sure. That's definitely what's going to happen. We can dead a change into a to game with a boss, I guess. I think we always just want to swing. So I believe we can't do Rose Tower. Yeah, I think we just always want to swing with Victini here. We did get the boss. We would have had game if they didn't get heads on Crush and Hammer. Um, that's fine. Just get energy burst for 120. They can knock me out, and then we just go Flareon GX. Um, well, we actually need an energy for Flareon. We're out of energy. So we need a Fire Crystal here. Hmm. This game might actually... Maybe I should have went Spreading Flames there. Huh. Yeah, I should have went Spreading Flames. I don't think they can win, though, in all honesty. I mean, they need to have one more Pokemon, one more GX, but... That they get rid of so much of their energy here, yeah. That doesn't even matter at that point. Um, yeah, I should have went Spreading Flames. Should have went Spreading Flames. How many Crystals do we have left? We have two. Uh, I'll bring in the Eevee. We can... We'll see what happens. It's actually... Yeah, I should have went Spreading Flames. That might have been my downfall. Because we are completely out of energy now. Um, didn't really think of that. Let's get the Flareon. How many crystals? We've got two in the deck. I don't feel like we're going to get it here. Flareon actually can't get knocked out. I should have went Charizard then. Okay. Never punished. <laughs> we got the crystal. Oh my god. I should have went Charizard. We have to get three energy. So we're still doing 180 damage. That's good. Alright, that was a lot closer than it should have been. I definitely... Yeah, I should have done Spreading Flames just because I had the game in hand. I should have just went Spreading Flames. That was definitely my misplay there. My boy, Rekora, came in close. Anyway, I'm going to have a video for you guys on the Charizard deck. I think we did a good job showing off pretty much everything this deck tries to do. And I told you this deck is still pretty decent. Um, for sure. We cleaned up the game with Flary on there. Uh, Charizard did its stuff. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's PGO video on this Charizard deck, drop a like down below if you're new to the channel. Subscribe down below to help me on the road to reaching 12,000 subscribers. Check out Karkhaven TCG down below. Use code LDF at the checkout if you get any codes. Follow me on Twitter down below if you haven't already either. Help me uh, reach 1,000 followers. See you guys on the PGO video another day tomorrow. Bye bye.